Right now, I'm going to show you how to do number eight. Um, in number six, and I finished my value scale off camera, um, and I just used the exact same paint I used here, but I used it twice here, three times here, four times here, and five times here. And you can see that the layers, the transparent layers, it just creates this darker and darker value. But we left the, this part unpainted because we're using the white of the paper. Oftentimes, if you have a shiny object and it's got a highlight on it, you have to leave that highlight white from the very beginning. And my apple, I'm going to paint this shiny uh, red apple. And I'm going to do that by just leaving that white highlight spot alone. So um, you can see I didn't paint exactly neatly. And watercolor is, when you look at watercolor painting, sometimes the artists aren't that neat. Um, and some of the edges kind of are a little irregular. And that's okay. It's not the end of the world if that happens. And, and you can't erase this paint, so, you know, you have to kind of accept a certain amount of little accidents. All right, but you can see um, it looks kind of like a little, um, little red apple with a shiny spot. As long as I'm doing this apple, um, and I realize that there's no brown paint, and I know some of you are going to ask me how to make brown, um, so I'm going to take a little bit of red right here and see what I can add to it to make uh, it look brown. I'm going to put a drop of green in it. And as always, I'm going to test out my color. And you can see that makes a beautiful brown. So all I did was take a, two or three drops of red and add one drop of green. And because they're complementary colors, you get those neutral colors like grays and browns. Um, and that's a good brown. So I'm going to just, while I'm right here, I'm going to paint my stem. And I hope some of you are, are kind of predicting in your mind what might happen when I paint that stem while this area is still wet. So um, I'm just hoping that that's what you're doing. Uh, and this big fat brush, look how skinny the tip is when it's wet. So this is a good brush. And I can get right down on that little stem and paint that brown stem. And I'm going to, oh, there it goes. Did anybody predict it was going to bleed? Okay. You could, I was kind of trying to see if I could avoid it by leaving an extremely skinny, small, unpainted little white line in between. Uh, but, you know, I just went ahead and let it bleed. Um, and I think it might work out. It looks like it's not going to bleed much past there. And apples always have that little uh, dark spot, like that little hole in the top where the stem sits in. So when that's dry, we'll get a better idea of how that turned out. And this is why you practice things also in watercolor.